Is the CDC eviction moratorium over? Can landlords evict their tenants for not paying rent due to COVID-19? We're gonna go through that right now. And make sure you stick around to the end where we're gonna talk about the state of California's eviction moratorium, SB 91. Hey there, Christian Walsh Wire Associates. We're real estate brokers helping tenants and landlords and buyers and sellers navigate these crazy days in Southern California and beyond. And we're here with a big update on the CDC eviction moratorium. Things move very quickly. Just a few days ago, we had the CDC eviction moratorium then it was vacated and then it, it's back on so we're going to go through all of that in this video and remember we can't give tax or legal advice but for the most honest real estate advice subscribe to this channel so if you're ready to dive into the cdc eviction moratorium hit that like button and let's get started so what is the CDC eviction moratorium? Well, an important first point is this is a federal eviction moratorium. So it's at the national level. Understand that several states and areas have enacted their own eviction moratoria. And as long as they're more stringent than the CDC eviction moratorium, those will supersede the one at the national level. So using the Public Health Services Act, the Center for Disease Control issued on September 4th, 2020, an act that halted all residential evictions across the United States. This eviction moratorium stated that if tenants were not able to pay all or some of their rent due to COVID-19, but were trying, and they made less than 99,000 per person, 198,000 have married, and if they turned in a declaration that they signed, they could not be evicted for non-payment of rent due to COVID-19. And this was in place across the nation. So where did the Center for Disease Control eviction moratorium come from? Well, it all stemmed from an executive action signed in place on October 8th, 2020 by then President Trump, where he encouraged through the Health and Human Services Department, the Center for Disease Control, to come up with a plan to temporarily halt residential evictions to prevent the spread of COVID-19. The CDC eviction moratorium was originally slated to expire December 31st, 2020. Then the December stimulus plan extended it through January 31st, 2021. And then it was extended yet again to its current expiration date of June 30th, 2021. So what happened on May 5th, 2021? We heard that the CDC eviction moratorium was over. Well, we need to go back to November 20th, 2020, when a challenge was filed by the Alabama Association of Realtors and a few others against the CDC eviction moratorium. And we've included a link below and we encourage you to read the memorandum opinion by the judge. So the challenge that was filed back in November basically was stating several different things, including that the CDC was exceeding its statutory authority with the eviction moratorium, and that this was an unlawful taking as per the takings clause. There have also been several other challenges, at least six others, including the state of Texas and the state of Ohio, but this one went the farthest. On May 5th, Judge Dabnielle Frederick vacated the eviction moratorium. She stopped the eviction moratorium and in her opinion stated, it is the role of the political branches and not the courts to assess the merits of policy measures designed to combat the spread of disease, even during a global pandemic. The question for the court is a narrow one. Does the Public Health Service Act grant the CDC legal authority to impose a nationwide eviction moratorium? According to Judge Frederick, the answer is no, and she vacated the eviction moratorium. So what happened next? Well, the Justice Department jumped in. And I have a link below so you can see what they said, but they disagreed with the opinion. So the Department of Justice immediately filed an appeal, and the district court issued an emergency stay, which means until they're done going back and forth, that the CDC eviction moratorium will stay in place. So whether the CDC eviction moratorium lasts through June 30th, we will soon see. And I do feel that it is likely the fight will go on at least until June 30th and the national eviction moratorium will stay in place. 
But it, based on this and based on the fight and based on the current climate, it seems highly unlikely that we should expect that the CDC eviction moratorium will be extended much beyond June 30th. So how does this affect the California eviction moratorium, otherwise known as SB 91? So I've done a ton of content on SB 91. This basically prevents tenants from being evicted for non-payment of rent due to COVID-19 in the state of California. So the short answer is this will have no effect on SB 91, our statewide eviction moratorium and most other local and state eviction moratoria. So that's important to note. According to one attorney I heard from, a big part of it is due to the fact that California is in a different district court from this. So that is one of the reasons why this will not apply. Another difference between the CDC eviction moratorium and the California state eviction moratorium is the different ways they originated. So the SB 91 and AB 3088 in the state of California came from the legislative branch. It was actually law that was introduced, whereas the CDC eviction moratorium came outside of the legislative branch. And that's one of the reasons why it's being challenged in the state of California. We don't have that same challenge to our eviction laws. So can we expect a California eviction moratorium extension? Short answer is we don't know yet. It hasn't been discussed in the legislature. And just as a reminder, SB 91 was passed in the last few days just before AB 3088 expired. So there's always a chance as we get closer to the end of June that we will find either an extension or a new eviction moratorium bill put in place. And of course, Make sure you subscribe to this channel because I will be doing content to let you know what happens with both the CDC eviction moratorium and our statewide eviction moratorium. So leave your comments below. I want to know your thoughts on whether the eviction moratorium should be ended early on a national level, whether it should be allowed to end at June 30th, whether it should be extended beyond that. And I wanna hear what you think in California as well. I know landlords and tenants are gonna have different opinions, of course. Make sure you subscribe to our free weekly email newsletter. We cover topics like this, eviction moratoria, important items for tenants and landlords, buyers and sellers, and a whole lot more. You can click the link below or text newsletter to 949-691-3566. Thank you for tuning in. This has been Christian Walsh with Wire Associates, and we appreciate you.